Hi, Andrew. My name's Selena. Um, so you're supposed to be talking about how to make our city more beautiful through art. So I'm wondering, why do you have a blender here? Well, I thought I'd mix something up for us to try. First, I'm add some yogurt. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> then, I'm add some water, sugar, and corn syrup. Okay, might be good, but what does that have to do with beautifying our city? Well, now I'm going to add some moss. Ladies and gentlemen, I am as curious as you are to see what he's cooking up. Introducing our 16-year-old artist, Andrew Rosario. Well, you might think this is some kind of crazy Santa Cruz in health drink. <laughs> but it's not. It's paint. I'm an artist, and I'm here to talk about public art and how we can use this to beautify our city and any other city. As you know, in Watsonville, we have issues with graffiti and tagging. Just so we're clear, they're not the same thing. Graffiti can be art. Tagging is not art. Tagging is unwanted, and its intentions are to hurt. Tagging is always wrong, and we need to find a way to get rid of it. I found a way to get rid of it. This is paint that grows into a garden on a wall. I propose that we use this to grow gardens on our walls. Here are some examples of city walls that have been beautified by moss. Some designs are really cool three-dimensional gardens. And the beauty of this graffiti is that it comes from nature. It promotes peace, and most importantly, for city planning, it can't not be tagged. What a cool community service project for all of us to get involved in. So, let us, let us paint our walls with moss. Thank you. <laughs>